I am not naturally a positive person. I grew up in Long Island, New York. <laughs> in a Jewish Italian family. A lot of food, a lot of guilt. A lot of wine, a lot of whining. But in my life, and my pursuit of, of wanting to be a more positive person, I wrote a book called The Energy Bus. Who here has read The Energy Bus? Okay. Both of you, awesome. All right. But it's a very excited too, so that's great. Well, for those who haven't read it, it's about a guy named George who's miserable and negative. His team at work is in disarray. He has problems at home, and he wakes up Monday morning to a flat tire. And George was, was just fed up with life. And he was very easy to write because he was based on me. He was based on my own personal struggles with negativity and adversity and challenges. And so he has this flat tire. He walks inside, he asks his wife to take him to work, and she won't, guys. That was also based on personal experience. <laughs> so now he has to take the bus to work. And he gets on the bus, and he meets Joy, the bus driver. She calls him Sugar. And she and a cast of characters teach George the 10 rules for the ride of his life that not only help him become a more positive person, a better leader, but a, a better father, a better husband. It's about getting his team on the bus and moving in the right direction with a shared vision, focus, and purpose. And in many ways, it's a story about a leader having to overcome negativity, adversity, and challenges to define himself and ultimately his team's success. I really believe that George represents the fact that optimism is a competitive advantage. That optimism allows us to overcome those challenges to ultimately create the future.